So we just got new disclosure documents highlighting how much Fox contributors are being paid. Not the people who have their own shows, not the people who are on every single day, but just some, usually sometimes bozos like John Bolton, who come in and just say, kill people, war good. Those people are paid to the tune of almost a half a million dollars. Uh, this is absolutely insane of how much Fox News pays these contributors. I mean, John Bolton is the most uh, precarious one out of all of the people listed here since he's getting paid so much. And there's so many details to get into this story. And I think even a bigger story about how the mainstream media will ultimately fail because of these insane budgets and insane amount of money that they go through for just absolutely no reason like why have john bolton on why even pay him to spew his propaganda i don't get this jason i don't understand this at all it shows me the uh, very sick symbiotic relationship between your favorite government and private corporate media not the fourth estate not journalism that actually challenges the narrative but no private media that pays establishment hacks like john bolton who could throw a dart at a map and say bomb that he hasn't seen a country in the middle east he hasn't said bomb bomb well other than israel syria iran afghanistan iraq all john bolton babies hey don't forget africa he's not too sorry we're bombing over there either folks and when you're paying a guy 569k now i want to be really clear about this it says that's his salary I don't know whether that is over one year because you look at somebody like uh, Scott Brown and he made 175 k over 2013 to 2014. So that was four years. But again, for four years, do the math, folks. Do the math. That's like 40 plus k a year to show up remotely most times and propagate bombing stuff. All right, John Bolton, especially with almost half a million dollars. And a lot of these guys, Luke, they do this while they're still working for government. Isn't that a conflict of interest? Isn't oh, the fourth estate? 100%, especially with the lobbyist and interest that they have here. I mean, this is nothing new. I mean, this whole mainstream media is totally overinflated. Anderson Cooper estimated gets paid $12 million a year. Uh, you look at the late night show host, uh, Jimmy Kibble, $35 million, a staff of literally, uh, you know, dozens and dozens of people working for him, writing everything with him just literally reading off a script and being told what to do, dressing nicely for, of course, these establishment shows, which just shows you how much, uh, you know, bigger propaganda efforts, how much PR and marketing actually goes in to the bigger disinformation that we uh, are seeing on the boob tube. Uh, when me and you, Jason, it's just it's just us two. We're doing pretty much all the work here for for like 0.01 percent of what uh, Jimmy Kimball uh, does. If we're lucky at that. Sorry, I cut you off too. Go ahead. Well, I, when you talk about entertainment, I think that could be a separate issue. But just like Jay Leno came out this week and said that people didn't know whether he was a Republican or a Democrat, and that late night entertainment has jumped the shark. Okay, it has now gotten very political. So that's almost but Jason, a... Jason, it's not entertainment anymore. It's political. It's always been very political. And all the late night show hosts pretty much have the same message. They're in tune. <laughs> it's like they have the same writers all working, giving them the same lines that they just regurgitate and put on that fake applause, uh, you know, button that they have in there. Uh, absolutely, you know, ridiculous. It's not entertainment. Everything is political now. Sorry, well, go ahead. Well, no, you're right. But again, it wasn't always that way. And I think uh, no. Leno, was, Leno was right to make that point. But to you know, get back to the main issue, when you're getting paid over half a million dollars on a network where you don't even have a show, you don't have to show up every day. Maybe you're on a couple times a month. Maybe if it's a big news time, you're on a couple times a week, but usually remotely. Let me tell you, as somebody who's done MSNBC, as somebody who's done CNN, I, I've never gotten a check. Okay, they, they don't offer you a check for your commentary. Guys like me who are challenging the narrative that are talking about CIA raids in North Korea while our mainstream establishment is completely silent, they're not paying me to be a contributor. I'm lucky to get on and combat their propaganda. So when you see people like John Bolton, who have throughout many administrations now, proposed war, gotten their policies through, and been close to administrations. I mean, it doesn't get much more than the National Security Advisor. Is anybody 
frothing at the mouth like me to get him out of this swamp-infested administration that Trump has given us. Get Rand Paul in there if you're really serious about getting out of war. Not this guy. Let him go work for Fox News full-time. That's fine with me. But, you know, another person, Luke, that they talked about uh, possibly replacing Mattis at some time was Jack Keane. What's Jack Keane? He's another war propaganda master that is a contributor being paid by Fox News. And you know what? I'm not here just to attack Fox News. They have these contributors over at MSNBC. They have these contributors over at CNN. They all have their own little flavors. You know, Scarmucci is of the Trump flavor. And if you looked at what CNN does, um, people like Van Jones is more of the progressive flavor. So they're giving you flavors of the same type of propaganda, Luke. Yeah, I mean, it's the same cookie cutter war industry representatives, a lot of representatives from military industrial complex, uh, lobbyist organizations, direct companies that are just going on there and shilling for more conflict and war. If you look at the discrepancy between pro-war and anti-war, it is predominantly pro-war, not just on Fox, but also MSNBC, CNN. So this highlights, again, as I mentioned before, how the mainstream media is living in a bubble that can't financially sustain itself. This is why independent journalists are still kicking their butt. And this is why we're seeing such a big censorship effort and how ridiculous it is for uh, YouTube to be and Facebook to be even hiring some of these mainstream media people. I mean, Anderson Cooper gets paid by Facebook to do shows that barely any people watch. Uh, again, it's just us here and other individuals who do independent media that are kicking their butt on the numbers because, again, it's not fake. It's not scripted. It's not all coordinated. So it just shows you how much of a big economic bubble the mainstream media is. And number two, how backward society is. John Bolton has caused so much human suffering in this world with his direct policies that he invoked that that were based on lies that were sold to the american people as truth that led to a lot of people suffering a lot of people being in misery and for i mean let's just be honest here uh if we had a, a real you know society society wasn't backwards john bolton would be in jail not getting paid almost a half a million dollars just to speak more bull crap and lies to the American people to push, of course, the services of the military industrial complex. It's that simple. <sighs> That's my take on it. I, I don't know if I have anything else to say about this, Jason. What well, about I got you? something to hammer the point home. Now, if you look to the left, U.S. launches missiles into Syria. Now, this guy right here is just the former deputy assistant, Seb Gorka, for three weeks work promoting missile strikes on Syria. He made him, this is the bottom of the barrel, Luke. Again, doesn't have his own show, can show up to a green screen remotely. You know, they usually have a couple in major cities. You know this. You go to New York City somewhere. You go to Albany somewhere in New York. They have them. $4,320. Three weeks work. I guarantee that wasn't seven days a week. It wasn't five days a week. It's probably like a couple days a week to say, those Syrians are dangerous. Bashar al-Assad hates his people. He gasses his own people. We must take down this regime. And he's paid very handsomely for his propaganda. This is a huge problem. Look at some of the other numbers down here. Former Deputy National Security Advisor KT McFarland earned $63,518 while working for the network from 2010 to 2017. Again, that may seem like not a lot, but that's like probably, oh, I don't know, a little less than 10 grand a year to show up every once in a while and say, bomb this, bomb that. There's not many people that are taking a non-war approach over at Fox News. I mean, other than Tucker Carlson, who has his own show, and I disagree with him a lot, not seeing a lot of anti-war stuff over there, Luke. Yeah, the only one I've seen is literally just... Just Tucker, I, I, correct me if I'm, wrong, if I'm wrong, I haven't seen anyone else. But it's the same with other networks. It's the same with CNN, same with MSNBC. That's, be, that's becoming more provocative, more warmongering. Uh, and just like this happens with Fox, this also happens with CNN. And I still want to know how much uh, Brennan uh, gets paid, how much Clapper gets paid. Uh, all this information should be public. It's only public on Fox because a lot of the officials within Trump's administration had to release these documents, had to say, hey, we're getting also paid by Fox and these documents documents were made public. I don't know how much all of them get paid. And I think that should be something that uh, should be common practices. We should know, oh, you're shilling for war. Let's see how much you're getting paid to shill for war uh, for the, you know, 
uh, inevitable human suffering of our people and people from a foreign land. Uh, that's just our basic take on it. That's what I think. Uh, Jason, thanks for bringing the story to my attention. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. And yet again, just remember, uh, we're pretty much sponsored by your donations. Uh, we don't have a half a million dollars. Uh, that's not even our, our yearly budget. Uh, that's not even close to our yearly budget. Uh, we're working with literally nickels and dimes here, uh, trying our best to give you the, the most important information of the day. Four videos a day now, one on our main channel, three on our backup channel. Uh, subscribe, stay tuned, and don't forget to be a part of independent media by going to wearechange.org forward slash donate because without you, we wouldn't be here. And that's why I love you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on youtube.com forward slash we are change.